especially playing against divisional opponents. I um, got to take advantage of opportunities to get back out there as, as many times as I can. So definitely got to do, do what I can to get back on that field. Yeah, did the bye draw come at a good time just as far as getting a chance to rest up in? Oh, perfect timing. Uh, can't ask for a better timing, especially with what I was been dealing with. But uh, I think you know the best thing was letting it rest and getting back out there and hoping that everything goes well now. And I think with the way Delaney was saying, a lot will depend on how the practice week goes. Just if you feel good. Feels good, that, feels then good. Then that's a good sign. That's that's going to be a great sign. Yeah. Yes, sir. How, how six games left, this team's in a position where if you take care of business, things could look good at the end. How exciting is that as you head into the end of the We always find ourselves in a position where we can take control of our own destiny. Now we got to just make sure we do it. I think the past years we let time slip at this um, time. And we got to make sure we take advantage of this season. Um, I think we got all divisional opponents coming up at the end, other than two, other than one. Um, what one com um, one that's non-conference, then the other one is a non-division game. But I think you know both of them going to be games that we need to make sure we win, and plus our division game. So as long as we go out there and get that done, we put ourselves in a great position going to the playoffs. Do you spread the word. Young, you've been through this so many times. Do you spread the word to young guys who might peek ahead that you got to? You can't worry about the big picture. Yeah, that's always that's the number one picture. That's the number one message that we always deliver in our meeting rooms at the team and in our position meetings is focus on now. Don't fo focus on today. Don't focus on what's going to go on three or four weeks from now and what can possibly happen. Focus on what's going on today. Take advantage of this game coming up, and we handle what's coming on after that. Um, we want to take each game one at a time and make sure we win them. This looks a lot like last year when you had to go around the run. Would you exact learn, same situation. What this team learned from last year that it can apply now? Biggest thing is just being confident and being um, consistent. I think you know we we let two big games fall on the road when we was out there in Arizona and San Francisco. We gotta make sure we don't allow those type of games to happen. We got a great opportunity in front of us. Um, all divisional opponents coming up. We got four four divisional games coming up where everything is lays in our control. We gotta make sure we take advantage of those games and handle everything and keep everything in our faith. How has this team improved? You think? to get to this point to handle that stretch Say it one more time. How has this team improved up to this point to, uh, to be able to handle the stretch run the way you guys need to? We improved a lot. Honestly, I just got to give props to our offense. Our offense has turned it on the last couple games and kept us in these fights. So uh, as a defense, we got to step it back up. I think we we've been a lot of things, a lot of things slip and a lot of plays get get past us, keeping ourselves in too many tight games when we've been really dominating offenses um, before this. Um, so it's going to be really key for us to back up our offense. Our offense is playing good ball the last couple of weeks. We got to make sure we follow follow what we did in the first half of the season and come out strong in the last half.